The dietitians have a really wide spectrum of people that we can impact. And so I'll get a lot of people that are just looking for weight loss. And sometimes that really is significant weight loss in order to come off of blood pressure medicines or you know, to avoid diabetes. And sometimes it's just a few vanity pounds. So that changes things. Um, also, you know, we're equipped to handle diabetes and high blood pressure and high cholesterol, food allergies or sensitivities. And so there are a lot of ways that a dietitian can help you with meal planning, with being strategic about um, healthy eating on a budget and also with staying within your calorie range um, to meet your goals. One of my favorite parts of the medical weight loss program here at St. Francis is that we teach healthy eating. So we're not talking about surgery and pills, but we're just talking about a balanced diet with controlled calorie levels and good exercise. And a big piece of that is what you put in your grocery cart. So one of the things that we do is we actually take clients to the grocery store and we walk up and down the aisles and we talk about trying to shop from the perimeter. We read labels and we we talk about trying to keep your sodium intake under 300 milligrams per serving. We talk about um, trying to get more of things like vitamin A and vitamin C and calcium and less of things like saturated fat and avoiding trans fats altogether. And so it's a fun opportunity to get to have some hands-on interaction um, with foods and to discuss what would be a good staple item to have at home. I think the biggest thing you can do when you're going to the grocery store is to A, not go hungry. When you go hungry, that's when you tend to get stopped by those little displays in the front with honey buns and that sort of thing and all those things just hop in your cart. Um, going with hungry children is another way you end up with impulse buys. So it's a good thing to make out your meal plan. Go ahead and decide what you're going to eat for the week. Make a list of the foods and the spices that you need to make those meals happen and then go with a plan and stick to your plan.